Hey folks, hope you're doing well today. Just want to show you some pickups that I got from the past two weeks. It's been a little while since I did a mail day. These are from uh, eBay, Blowout Forums, Card Show. Uh, I'm going to start with the Card Show stuff. I have my three biggest purchases. I think they're my biggest purchases off camera right now. I'll show those at the end. I'm going to start off with the Card Show stuff. I went and you've, if you saw a couple of my previous videos, I picked up some retail stuff to rip. Uh, one of the boxes I got, or I actually got two of these, uh, it was 2019 Prism Football. I'm trying to branch out a little bit into basketball and football. Uh, they, they're the markets that move a little faster than baseball. Um, the way I equate it in my head is that, even though I'm not a club guy, basketball, which is the more volatile of the three in terms of pricing, I think, it's like the club. You go out, you have a good time. After that, you go to the after party. To It settles down a little bit. That's football. But you always come back home to baseball. Baseball's my home. I love baseball. I know it the best. So, but I am trying to push off sort of the business side, more of the business side to the football and basketball and PC, keep more of the PC and baseball. Uh, but out of the one box of the Prism that I did open, there were two mega boxes keeping one sealed. Out of the one I opened, I did pull a Kyler, Kyler Murray rookie. Not sure that it'll gem, but I'm going to have it PSA graded anyways. So you're going to see a mix of basketball. I don't think there's football in here. There might be. You're going to see basketball. Uh, from a seller, one of the dealers at the the card show i picked up these three rj barrett's for thirty dollars so they're all mosaics pink and green from another seller i got these fanatic prism rj barrett and bobo out of optic uh, off centered a little bit he's had he had a couple of good scrimmage games down in florida so his stuff has jumped in the past week or so i don't think the prices will remain high for too long but i uh, got those for fifteen dollars the very first table i walked into or i, I saw when i walked in was a guy who had a bunch of autographs on it and he was selling them for half of whatever the sticker price said. So I picked up three cards for $20. This Bob Feller for five, one of the nicest signers I have ever met. He and Phil Necro were the two best experiences I've ever had with a, a baseball signer. Loved them. Uh, Gaylord Perry, not a big fan of his. He was a spitball pitcher, but he is a Hall of Famer and has a very good autograph on 2002 Finest card where oftentimes the autograph is faded a little bit. So for $5, I picked that up. And then and Andy Pettit, not a huge fan of Andy Pettit. Had some uh, performance enhancement, enhancing drug issues, but this is numbered out of 50. He was a good pitcher. This is numbered out of 50. It's out of tribute. Has a little bit of a corner issue, but still $10. I thought, okay, I'll go ahead and get that. Round out to 20 from another dealer, uh, he let me look through his box of 2020 Mega stuff. It was mostly base refractors, but I picked out these three colored parallels of this blue of Robert Poisson out of 150, this green Jaron Duran out of 99, and this uh, purple Anthony Volpe out of 250. I wasn't sure what they listed at. I'm not crazy about the the Duran and Volpe for two reasons. One, they're the they're the newer, the more gimmicky of the already gimmicky parallels, and they're a little off center, whereas the Poisson is fairly decently centered, a little off top to bottom, but I think it's in the PSA 10 standards. But I asked how much, he said it's pretty high, probably 80 bucks. I didn't know if that was a good price or not, but I went ahead and accepted it. And when I got out to the car, I looked them up and this by itself raw is about 70, 75. So I thought it was a pretty good deal. From the seller from whom I purchased the, um, the 2017 Heritage high number box that you saw earlier, I got these four mega refractors for $5, excellent price. Three Gerard Encarnacion's and this John Diaz. I'm trying to pick up the first Bowman Megas and um, Sapphires and colored parallels that are not Jason Dominguez when I can. Uh, purchased these on eBay. He was optioned off the starting lineup, optioned off the team, probably because of some personal stuff. I know he was late to, to uh, warm-ups to practice a week or two a week or two ago whenever it started up but these were pretty cheap because the the listing photo the main photo was of the back so you had to click on the the actual listing to see that both of these were Gavin Lux and I think I got them for $15 the Sovereign is a little more rare than the Piedmont back I don't think it's as rare as the Sweet Caparel but still good buy from the Blowout Forums, I got these two cards. This Connor Wong Gold out of 50. Uh, he's a Dodger prospect. Actually, is he with the Reds Red Sox now? I can't remember if he went to the Red Sox or not. Anyways, I looked at his number mm, 
over the winter time frame. I looked at his numbers and they were they looked really good. So I thought I'd go ahead and pick this up now. I don't think it'll actually. I know it won't gem. I hesitate to say it would even get a nine. It's a little bit of a pinched corner and another weak corner. So it's still a look, good looking card, and I got it for very cheap for a gold card. And from that same seller, I got this Miguel Amaya. He's one I've been watching for probably six or seven months. Picked up a few of his autographs here and there. I've submitted them to PSA. Uh, that was $60, refractor out of $4.99. I thought it was a pretty good price. This Duran is sort of like the other gimmicky parallels. I don't care for the sparkle too much, but this is a signed out of $2.99. And it was cheap enough for me to say, eh, I'll go ahead and get it, $70. Got this John Diaz. I, I don't remember if this was off of eBay or um, or the blowout forums. And I don't remember what I paid for it. But again, he's one of the prospects I'm keeping an eye on. And I'm trying to get more. Of the, I'm trying to get some of these Sapphire First Bowmans of guys not named Jason Dominguez right now. These four cards came from a trade through the blowout forums. I traded a 2018 Topps Chrome Update Rafael Devers PSA 10 in return. And I have another trade with this guy. And the cards haven't come in yet. They should be in the next few days. Uh, but got two base chrome Huras, a refractor, and a Topps Gold Label Blue out of 50. The refractor and gold label won't gem. I do think the base probably will. Uh, so I'll, I'll loop those and decide if I'm going to send those in or not. Back to basketball. Got this mosaic silver Kobe White. White and this is a, an instance of me listening to someone who's smarter than I am. Uh, actually, a couple of people. When I was at the card show, there was a dealer there talking to another dealer asking if he had any Kobe White stuff, and he explained that he had a buyer in Colorado who was buying anything and everything Kobe White. And I heard the part of the conversation as to why he was buying, and then within a day or two, a guy who I purchased from uh, through Blowout Forums, and you'll see the cards in just a minute, uh, told me he was selling the cards because he's trying to pick up Kobe White. And I looked back through some of his sold listings on on uh, the forums, and he had some really high-end stuff that he had purchased when it was still really cheap. And so he was telling me why he was going after Kobe White, and then I started looking, to know, looking into his numbers a little bit. So I do think Kobe White, I don't think he's going to be a top two or three player, but I think he'll be top ten uh, in the next couple of years. So I thought I'd go ahead and snag some of his stuff while it's still fairly inexpensive. I think that was 79 80 bucks, something like that. From the Blowout Forums, I picked up these three cards out of Prism. These two Shays, one's a silver and one's a green, and then this green Trey Young. They're all a little off-center, top to bottom. Uh, fortunately for me, the silver is the best centered of the three. So I'll probably get all these graded at some point. Probably sooner rather than later. This got off the blowout, blowout forums. It's a Drew Lock score auto out of 75, number 53 of 75. He is one of the rookie quarterbacks I am looking at. He and Daniel Jones really are the two I'm paying attention to right now. Daniel Jones plays for the uh, uh, New York Giants. I, I like Daniel Jones a little bit more. He was a higher draft pick than it was Drew Lock, uh, but I think they're both they're both good talent, and they're both a lot cheaper than Kyler Murray. Um, so I picked that up for, I don't remember what it was set. Uh, I don't remember what I picked that up for. This I thought was a great deal. Got these through the blowout forums. I responded to the guy a minute after he posted it, I think. I got both of these for $275. This one, the base will probably go off to PSA. The auto will probably go to BGS because there's a little bit of white right here at the on the black strip. So that'll probably go to BGS. But really good deal in my, my opinion. From Blowout Forums a couple of weeks ago, I think, I got these three Desert Shield cards out of 91. Got this Record Breaker, Nolan Ryan. And then a separate purchase from him, I got the Cal Ripken Record Breaker and Will Clark. And now that I have this one, I think I want to try to get the base Ryan Desert Shield. From the Blowout Forums, I got this Ronald Acuna 2018 Chrome Refractor. It will not gem. It has a little bit of a, an edge issue right here at the top. But I got this Mega also for, I think, $90 or maybe $100. And I do believe it will, Jim. So good price for the lot in my head. <laughs> this, oh, I probably got this right after I did my last Mel Day video. Abraham Toro. Am I hear my daughter in the background? Hey, sweetheart. I'll be there in just a minute. Uh, he is a the top hitting prospect for the Astros. Uh, he had a really great minor league, double A AA and triple A 
uh, season in 2019. Came up for about 25 games last year. Didn't do great. Uh, I think he batted like a low 200s, but you know what? Mike Trout batted a low 200s his first season. So this is a, an orange out of 25. I think I paid 275 for that. So I'm gonna see how he does. He's a strong guy. Now this was, these cards were from the guy I said is buying Kobe White. I picked up this Luca base prism. These things have jumped so much. Earlier, maybe five or six months ago, in a trade, I got a prism card, uh, a silver prism of Luca that I can't remember if it graded like an eight five or nine. I don't remember what it graded, but I either traded away or sold it away for something like a five hundred dollar value. And now it's like a twenty five hundred dollar card, just five or six months later, and I'm kind of kicking myself for it. I don't think this will gem. Has a little bit of a weak corner right here, uh, but I would be okay with a nine. These trays, the rest of them, are, I think, are, yeah, they're Trey, well, except for that one. Trey Young, got the red, white, and blues. One of these, I think, will gem. And I got the base trays, and I think three of the five will probably gem. And then I got this uh, Porzingis, red, white, and blue out of 2015, already PSA 10. And here is a select concourse silver Kobe White. It's a little, it's a little off center left or right, but I think I paid like 40 bucks for that, 30 or 40 bucks for that wasn't too much and uh for the potential i think it's good now the biggest three cards that i got i'm gonna start off you saw the let me go ahead and pull it back out I saw the base luca i got a graded one also nine five thinking that i might because the the nine is on the centering i might be able to crack this out and submit it to psa but there is a corner down here that has i think it's extra paper on the side and I'm not sure how PSA grades that. So I've decided I'll probably just keep it in the 9.5 case. Um, got this. Jaron Jackson's another one I'm keeping my eyes on right now. Great young talent. This is a choice red, a number to 88, 8 of 88. I think I paid 550 for this. Uh, but I think it's a good purchase. I, I think he'll do good things. I, I do think he has the, so where I said Kobe White, I think will be in the top 10 in the next couple of years. I think Jaron Jackson could be in the top five. So I think I might hold on to that for a little while. My favorite purchase though, my favorite one, and this is a PC card. My favorite is one that I've wanted for a while and I, you just don't see them that much. This PSA 10 2018 Tops Update, Austin Meadows, black out of 67 number two of 67. I think one sold a month or two ago raw, or one is for sale right now maybe, I'm not sure. But the last one I remember really following was a BGS True Gem 9.5 that sold I think in April for about $480. And I remember th I was the underbidder on that. And I remember thinking, God, it's so expensive. Uh, but this was more expensive. But this is a PSA 10, which is a little harder than the BGS. Although it does have a little white right there. So I don't know, um, but I'm excited to have this. I'm excited to put this. Excited to put this in my collection for a little bit, for a little while at least. Might start a little Austin Meadows display. I just have so much of his stuff. But yeah, those are my my pickups for the past couple of weeks. Let me know which one was your favorite. Uh, check out the Monday or the video on Monday because I, it's going to be announcing the. July giveaway. It's going to be a little bigger than normal because Friday, the day that I anticipated ending, is my birthday. So to celebrate my birthday, I'm going to go on to a giveaway a little bit more than normal. And also, I don't know when on Friday. It might, it might even be Saturday when I draw those names. Kind of depends on what my wife has planned. Birthdays are just sort of another thing, another day to me, my own birthday, but she, she likes to celebrate. So uh, when I do the contest will actually sort of depend on what her schedule is for me <laughs> if there is one so until monday hope you have a great weekend and i will see you soon bye